Going under the nickname of The Real Deal, Mike Dedecker may just be starting to live up to that claim after an impressive back end to the calendar year. The Belgian has caught our eye here at Doubles and Trebles recently, having already doubled his best year on tour in terms of prize money won. A four-time development tour winner, Dedecker has always possessed sensational raw ability and is out of the fast-throwing, high-scoring mould, which always makes for entertaining viewing. He arguably made his breakthrough a bit too early when winning a card in 2016, dropping off the tour by the end of 2017 and needing to rebuild his game on the challenge and development circuits. Since returning to the full tour in 2020, notable runs have been few and far between, but something seems to have clicked recently. Since October, De Decker has played 26 games on the professional circuit, winning 18 of them and going at an average of roughly 97. On the numbers, that makes him the world's 12th best player in that period, sitting above the likes of Peter Wright, Ross Smith and Johnny Clayton. He's also level with Michael Smith, Rob Cross and Luke Humphreys, players widely considered to be in red-hot form heading into Ali Pali. It is remarkable when considering those numbers that De Decker remains a 1,000-to-1 chance for glory and 100-to-1 even to win his quarter. Of course, Ali Pali experience is so often vital and he hasn't exactly shone on his previous two visits to the Palace. He was stunned by Edward Shinji Fawkes on debut in 2020 and then exited at the second round last time out. However, this is clearly a different De Decker we're dealing with and I strongly fancy him to beat both Jeff Smith in round one and also Mensah Suljevic in round two. In the latter contest, he'll go in as an odds against underdog and would definitely be worth a bet. Should he make it to round three, Michael van Gerwen awaits. Then, when faced with Mighty Mike, the world will see if Mini Mike really is the real deal.